Let me talk to you tonight about um, signing up to getting a, flu, a few flesh wounds. So um, this is something that's really helped me with to progress through life and to face up to challenges. And um, it's about letting go the idea that um, that you can get through a situation without there being, um, without basically getting hurt or criticized or um, getting some negative feedback. Um, I've noticed that people often get stuck when, because there's, there's any potential risk. And I feel like lots of times, and it's something that's increasingly so in our society is that we sometimes think that we should be able to go about and do the thing we want to without any risk, basically. And that's not how life works. And so you've got to sign up to this idea that getting hurt along the way is is part of the price you make for growth. Like growth hurts. So if you want to do something new that you've never done before, you you have to take on board that not not that it might happen, it will happen. If you if you decide you want to go from one job to something totally different that you've never done before, there are going to be days when you feel awful about it and you fail to do the thing you're supposed to do or you mess up and someone criticizes you. Um, if you decide you're going to make a big impact somewhere, like your business is going to change an industry, or may, someone is going to try and stop you, they're going to criticize you, you're a threat. Anyone who's growing is a threat. This is an important point. So um, if you see, if you can attach criticism to growth, like you know that you're growing when someone's getting offended and someone is annoyed. It's not It's not that you di- that you disregard their opinion and label everyone as or you're just just because I'm growing. You must take that feedback on board. You don't let the feedback define you, but you also realize it's part of the the context of what happens when you grow is that you get offended, uh, you get you get a negative you get negative feedback. So, um, I just think it's worth it's worth thinking about when you're at an obstacle, you're at a, at a, a roadblock in your life, and you want to do something different or change, um, and you're not moving. You've got to think about why why you're not moving and quite often i i see that people know what to do but they also think yes but what if this happens and there's always a yes but there's always a what if there's always something bad that can happen and you should take that into account i'm not saying you ignore risk and i'm not saying you ignore feedback but you but you're going to get something negative back when you create something positive that's part of the process um, one of the things that really made me realize this was that you can go on to YouTube, for example, and have a look for the most the, the an idea that might be the purest, most beautiful thing you can imagine. Like it might be some, you know, a dog rescuing a kitten from a lake or something like that. There will be people who down click on that. They'll negative like, oh, I don't like that dog rescuing. A kitten. Who knows what's going through their head? But there will be people out there who will criticize it. Now, if you're if you get onto the big stage in your life, and, and I mean, I may not, it doesn't mean the big stage and like you're not a celebrity, but just maybe in your industry, maybe in your business or your company, you start to do something where people know you and you start to ask for change. It doesn't matter how good your idea is. Some people will dislike it. And you have to take that on board as part of the price you pay for making your difference in the world. Like if you think that you're going to be able to make change anywhere without some people not liking you for it you're 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 never going to move and it's not you it, you will get that negativity but what i want you to do is to see that as part of the price of progress and to basically sign up for flesh wounds you never win a war without a flesh wound you never get anywhere without hurting yourself you never progress without strain without discomfort so look out for the times in your life where you're thinking um oh i'd really like it, this to happen but i'm i'm afraid what if and actually, sometimes it's about accepting that what if and saying, well, it might happen, but it's probably better than staying where I am. So I'm going to weigh up those risks. I might get criticized, but I also may well damn well achieve the thing that I've been trying to achieve for my whole life or make a good step towards it. So the take home from this, boys, if you watch it in years to come, is sign up for the flesh wounds. It's it's. There's no way to progress without getting hurt along the way. And once you accept that, you're more likely to progress because you won't be staying inside worrying that you might get hurt. You'll just be out there progressing, fighting your corner, making an impact on the world. And that's what life's all about. Sorry about that. Hope that helps.